Good morning. Welcome to another day in the life of what I eat in a day vlog. I just woke up, I did some reading and had a coffee and now I'm going to do about 10 minutes of morning chikung and do a little workout. I'm doing Pilates most days of the week at the moment because it always makes me feel really strong and in the past I have neglected my core strength especially when I was doing endurance running and when I was getting up to running like 30, 40, 50 k's because I didn't have a strong enough core I ended up getting injuries and my body in other parts were compensating for my lack of core strength. So I'm addressing that area at the moment and I'm feeling really good. I also feel like I'm improving my flexibility. I've never really thought of myself as a very flexible person, but I feel like we can always work on things that we want to improve. I had no idea what was going on in this stretch. I did not look like the instructor and I felt really silly doing this, but it's always fun to try out different things. And I really love Pilates workouts that blend elements of yoga as well, because I find it super grounding and it helps me start my day right. It's around 9 a.m. in the morning. I just thought I would tell you about this razor from Leaf, this Leaf reusable razor. I um, made an unboxing video about this. I will link it up above. However, the razor that I opened in the review video actually became really tarnished and the clip on the back broke. And I just wanted to mention it because I emailed Biome, which is where the site I ordered this from. I sent them a video of like how it broke and stuff and really quickly they got back to me and sent me a replacement. So I just wanted to say a big shout out to Biome for like fixing that problem. I will put their link in the description. My heart goes out to them as well because I think one of their distribution centers got like absolutely destroyed in the floods. My heart goes out to all the people affected by the floods. Yeah, and I also wanted to show this because I'm about to go shave my legs. That's why I thought I'd mention it right now. I'm about to go shower and get ready for my fitting and I will show you breakfast very soon. I also just wanted to show you what our bathroom looks like at the moment. Piers put all the plants in. I think it looks amazing. Don't mind all of the random stuff around as well. And then we just have this like whole corner, which is just like a little forest area. I'm going to add some bananas. I'm going to add some date syrup as well. So as you guys can see, I'm in a different place at the moment. I'm still figuring out which places have the best lighting. Let's give it a try. That is really, really good. I am gonna go drink this and go do my makeup. I'm not gonna do a lot of makeup today, just like natural, but not natural. I'm wearing inner car foundation and I'm gonna put on some purple cream before I head off. I'm wearing a dressing gown though because when I have a smoothie in the morning, I get really, really cold and it's starting to get colder here as well since it's like mid-March now. I am all cozied up in my dressing gown and I'm gonna make myself a coffee. What I do is I just have a scoop. This is a Mediterranean bean and I just have one scoop of that. Oops, got that everywhere. And then I awkwardly pour it into this cup because that one, the other cup, has a handle. Cheers. I am going to do a little bit of quick journaling with this year of growth book made by Annie Tarasova, Dreamy Moons. I love this journal and I met Annie in I think like 2015 at some like Bondi meetup. I thought she was really, really cool. And since then I've been following her journey on Instagram. And this year I decided to get the year of growth journal because it's so, so pretty and I found it to be super beneficial. And I'm just doing my entry for yesterday. 
guys, so I'm in town now. I'm about to go into the bridal salon. I'm not gonna film inside because usually for shoots, they don't want to show what you're wearing until like the official shoot has been done and the photos have been shared. I'm really excited. I've just got natural makeup on at the moment. My skin is super nice. I'm noticing like long-term no sugar is like yielding pretty good results and it's a really nice day so i might even go for like a little walk and after this fitting i think i need to get some sun-dried tomatoes because i'm gonna make vegan pizza tonight and i'm gonna show you how i make that as well Okay, so I just got out of the salon and it was really, really fun. And oh my gosh, it was so, so lovely. And we found a really beautiful one and I'm so excited for the shoot. So make sure to follow me on all my social media channels so you can see it when those photos are released. I just made my lunch. I made a really quick bowl of noodles because I'm gonna go out to the beach for a walk and for a swim because it's really nice and hasn't been nice lately. It's really simple and nothing too fancy. It's just sauerkraut and fried vermicelli noodles and avocados, which is probably really weird, but I think it's gonna taste nice. I just got changed into my bikini. I have a mark for my strapless bra, which is really annoying, but I think it'll go away. And I'm gonna go for a really nice walk and listen to a podcast at the beach. This was not my brightest idea because the whole road was like closed to Kalala and there were major roadworks in Huskisson. So I'm just gonna go for a walk and then hope that I'm not too late to make pizza. I love Huskisson so much and it was such a beautiful day that I just had to kind of drop everything and go out for a nice walk. The weather's been so crazy so I really prioritize going in the outdoors when we get the chance because it is so nuts. The rain has just been crazy. And on this day I was listening to Manifest Your Destiny by Dr. Wayne W. Dyer and I really love his writing and also his audiobooks, you know, he's got a really calming, soothing voice and I always feel really good about life when I listen to his theories. Today I was also doing a little bit of brainstorming. So I've had a few people reach out to me and ask me to help them with some editing. So I was actually thinking of creating an editing course, like a video editing course. So let me know in the comments if you would be interested in doing something like that. And yeah, message me if you have any further inquiries and I will let you know on the channel when it is released. So I'm home now and my mum dropped this around that my nan made. So I think we'll eat some of that now, but I'm going to start making pizza. On my way home, I cruise through all the roadworks at like the perfect time, which is really nice. So this is almost like a vegan drunken noodles with mock dark. It's really, really good. A quick snack before I start making pizza. <laughs> Combine one tablespoon of instant dried yeast to 300 ml of lukewarm water and one teaspoon of date syrup. Stir thoroughly and leave to the side to activate for 10 minutes or so. To make our oat flour, we're going to need to add around 360 grams of rolled oats to a blender. Also add three tablespoons of glutinous rice flour. And then once you've measured it all out, we need to blend this until it becomes a fine, fine flour. While we're waiting for the yeast to activate, we're going to chop up one garlic clove and add to a blender with one can of tomatoes, half a teaspoon of salt, then we're going to add basil, thyme and oregano. Oregano. <laughs> then we're going to blend this. Then we're going to add some oil to a pot, throw in the mixture and cook on a medium heat and continuously stir it until it's cooked down into a paste. Then we're going to start with the dough. Also add half a teaspoon of salt and one and a half tablespoons of olive oil. But I like to do the dough and the water in increments. So I'll add a little bit of flour with a little bit of water and then I'll stir that. And then once that's combined, I will add more of the flour and more of the water until everything has been combined evenly. It's also not going to look like a normal dough if you were making it with a gluten flour, but that's okay. Don't be scared. Just put a tea towel on it and wait 30 minutes. 
Now we want to make our cauliflower cheese sauce. Boil the kettle, wash and chop your cauliflower, then we're going to add it to a pot and boil it. Then we're going to make some mushrooms for the toppings and all we're going to do is saute these mushrooms in a pan with some oil. Now we want to drain our cauliflower. Ah. Set the cauliflower aside or put it into the fridge to make it cool for the blender. 270 ml of coconut cream, 2 teaspoons of Himalayan rock salt, 4 tablespoons of nutritional yeast flakes, 3 tablespoons of glutinous rice flour, and then we're going to pop in our cauliflower that we cooked. Blend it until smooth, real smooth. And then we're going to add it to our pan and cook on a low heat and stir continuously. Now we're going to get the bases ready. We need to put some baking paper on a tray. This is compostable baking paper. Now we're going to spread out our dough. I didn't have a roller. I need a roller. I'll write that down on my shopping list. But anyway, you can still stretch this out to whatever shape you like and then add it to a preheated oven at 200 degrees. Bake for 10 minutes and then get your toppings ready. I went with olives, sun-dried tomatoes and salted capers that you just need to rinse. And then once the base is done, add your pasta sauce and toppings. just so beautiful I love making these pizzas you could probably eat it just like that but let's add the cheese sauce now so it's super easy you just spread it out and then we are gonna put it back into the oven at 200 degrees for around 15 to 25 minutes keep an eye out on it and take it out when it gets to your desired level of crispiness I would have left it in for longer although I was pretty happy with how it turned out and I was pretty hungry <laughs> So that is how you make a gluten-free, cheesy, vegan pizza. Now, I was pretty busy today, so I didn't start the dough until after 6 o'clock. So, I would recommend that you start making the dough 6 to 8 hours before you want to have dinner. Make the dough early in the day. I'm really excited for this. I think it's still pretty hot. I am very, very keen to try this out. Crunchy base. Guys, I'm so happy that I've finally got my gluten-free base down pat. I think having the glutinous rice flour makes all the difference and by just leaving it in the oven just a little bit longer has really worked wonders. So I'm super excited to eat this for dinner and I'm probably gonna watch some sort out online and do a face mask. <laughs> If you have enjoyed this video and you like vegan pizza, make sure to like this video. Subscribe to the channel and click that notification bell. I love you guys and I'll see you in the next video.